Hey guys, this is Karan Pirani from Mobi Scrub, and in this video, we are going to compare the camera performance of the Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge with that of the iPhone 6. Now, Samsung has come a long way in improving its camera quality, and with the S6, Samsung really seems to have made a breakthrough. The iPhone has long been known to take the best pictures, but let's find out if that's going to change this time. First of all, the S6 features a 16 megapixel camera as opposed to iPhone 6's 8 megapixel camera. The S6 has got optical image stabilization, which is a lot more effective at reducing shake than the iPhone 6 digital image stabilization. Other than that, the Galaxy S6 camera comes with many photography modes as we'll explore later in the video and then compare to the iPhone 6's camera app. To talk clear hardware numbers, the S6 has an f1.9 lens that can take pictures of up to 16 megapixel while the iPhone 6 has an f2.2 lens that can take pictures of only up to 8 megapixel. Now, f1.9 lens in the S6 means that you can take better macro shots with a much better blurring of the background that makes your photos look really beautiful and makes the subject really stand out against the background. The S6 can record 4K ultra high definition videos and 2K quad HD videos at 30 FPS, while it can record full HD videos at 60 FPS, which means extremely smooth videos. And also it can do 720p at 120 FPS. The iPhone 6, however, cannot record 4K or 2K videos, but can record Full HD at 60fps and 720p at a whopping 240fps, which means much better slow motion videos. However, the focusing capability, the autofocus of the iPhone 6 is not as fast as it is in the Galaxy S6, which I would uh, show in a couple of minutes or seconds. The S6 definitely has a slightly bit faster focus and since it comes with optical image stabilization, it can shoot some really stable videos. The other good thing about the camera of the S6 is that you can literally launch it in, s in less than a second from anywhere. Just double tap the home key from anywhere, whether in an app or even if your phone screen is locked, the S6 camera fires up instantly. Unlike that of the iPhone in which you would either have to wake up your lock screen and swipe up or go into the app drawer and launch it from there. Now let's get to comparing some outdoor photos in bright lighting. You can see that the color reproduction of the S6 is slightly better and punchier and also if you look at the detail of the tree in the background, the S6 beats the iPhone 6 hands down. Even upon zooming, the detail retained by the S6 is impressive. Since S6 stores more megapixels, it can definitely store more detail as well. Now in this picture, the iPhone has unnecessarily added a bluish tone to the image, whereas the S6 brilliantly delivered a true to life image. Here you'd notice that the iPhone added a warm yellow tone to the image while the S6 has produced a neutral image. Upon zooming, both phones have performed equally well, but if you notice, the zoom levels in the S6 are slightly more, giving you the same picture clarity. In this image, the iPhone 6 has done a much better job of creating a fabulous contrast as opposed to the S6, which has too much of white in it. Indoor photos, the S6 added a weird purple tinge to the keyboard against a light source, while the iPhone 6 gave a much better true-to-life output. But in this picture of the Starbucks setting, the real-time HDR feature of the Galaxy S6 kicked in and gave a much better image than the iPhone 6's HDR. Comparing macro shots, the S6 stands out. Given it has an f1.9 lens as opposed to the f2.2 lens in the iPhone 6, it is bound to create a much better blur and hence a much more standing out subject in the pictures taken. Now here is the last photo I want to show. So these look identical in quality, but when you zoom in, you can see that there is so much more detail behind the black lamp post on the red plates that you see, uh, whereas you don't see it in, in what the iPhone 6 took. Next, let's compare the video capture capability. First, we tested out the iPhone 6 at full HD 30fps setting. Since the phone lacks optical image stabilization, the video is slightly shaky in a, in a moving vehicle. And while I'm not demonstrating it in this video, even the microphone recording of the iPhone 6 is inferior as compared to the S6. Now let's check out the S6 video quality. Here you'd notice the optical image stabilization kicks in and produces a lot more stable video. You can see more detail as well as much better color reproduction. And another good thing about the S6 or the S6 Edge is that you get to choose what quality of video you want to shoot, whether you want to shoot 4K or 2K or Full HD at 60fps or 30fps or 720p uh, or even standard definition. It's all up to you. Looking at the app, uh, the camera app of the Galaxy S6, you'd see a lot more options. So for example, you can select a mode, whether it's virtual shot, slow and fast motion, you can download more, you've got selective focus and you've got the pro mode, which is basically a manual mode wherein you can tweak stuff like white balance, ISO, um, even the focus, you can tweak all of those things around. You've got uh, auto HDR, real time HDR actually. So even before you take the picture, you know the effect of HDR on the screen. 
and the S6 really gives you a bunch of options that you can choose from. So for example, your picture size, if you don't want your picture size to be too big, you can actually select a smaller size um, or anything else. Even the aspect ratio from wide to four is to three to square, you've got everything uh, here. You can even change the video setting as I already said. So there you go guys, you've got plethora of video options and you can automatically resize in the sense, you know, you can choose how heavy your video should be. You've got tracking autofocus, video stabilization, you can, you can, you know, choose to set it on or off. And uh, quick launch, the double tap to double tap home key to quickly launch it. You've got that voice control. You can just say capture or shoot to take photographs. And you can even configure your volume keys uh, to either record a video or to take a picture. Now, all of these things, uh, in fact, most of these things are not available in the iPhone, uh, which of course I'll show. Now that's a preview of the pro mode. You get to choose or change um, the ISO levels, uh, the exposure levels, the white balance. Uh, you know, you could go from all the way from left to right. Uh, and you've got a couple of uh, filters that you can apply even before you take a photograph. So you know what your picture is going to look like. Now on the iPhone 6, you've got a couple of options. So this is the photo mode and you could just swipe left or right to change your mode. You've got HDR auto on or off right there. Timer settings and then you can just flip the front camera, or toggle between the front and the rear camera and you've got the option to change your flash. Now all of these are obviously there in the Galaxy S6 as we just saw. Now you've got uh, nine filters here as well, just as in the Galaxy S6. Uh, you could swipe right and go into square, which is your one is to one ratio. And then you've got the panoramic shot Again, something that the Galaxy S6 already had. Now in video, you've got uh, a full HD video recording and you can of course uh, also have full HD video at 60 FPS or 720p at, which is, which is your slow-mo, 720p at 240 FPS. There you go. So you can change your settings at the bottom right. Uh, and then you've got a time-lapse video. These are the only options you would ever get on the iPhone 6 and there's nothing else beyond this. There are no more changes or no more additional things that you can do. Uh, so in terms of functionality, the Galaxy S6 definitely uh, takes a leap. And you might find a couple of settings more if you go into the settings menu of the iPhone uh, and then go into photos and cameras. And then if you scroll down, you would see that for camera, you've got two more options to turn the grid on or you could record at, uh, uh, you could record full HD at 60 FPS. And that's it. In a nutshell, the Galaxy S6 camera is a stunning high performance camera that takes high detail pictures with great color reproduction and shoots extremely stable videos. Its real time HDR works great and has a really fast focus. Even in dark conditions, the phone is able to produce some really impressive pictures. I would definitely give the Galaxy S6 the thumbs up when compared to the iPhone 6 in terms of camera performance.